Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden. In this video, I'm gonna speed run setting up ESLint in this Hono project. So I want this project to require me to use semicolons and then also require me to use uh, like double quotes like this. And I want it to complain if I'm not using the right thing. And we can fix that using ESLint. Now, if you've ever watched the Coding Garden, you would know that we have spent hours, days configuring ESLint before to work in our projects, especially when we were working on like listed and stuff like that. I have a whole hour long video on how to get ESLint in prettier set up inside of react it's something that i spend so much time doing so we're going to speed run it and go and what i'm going to do is i'm actually just going to use antfoo's eslint config I, I learned about this recently and it is absolutely amazing because it's zero config you literally install this and then this is all the code that you need so let's do it i'm going to run this like i don't set up the airbnb config anymore just because i have the rules that do most of the same stuff as the airbnb config using a pre-made config is cheating i agree but that's why this is amazing uh, <laughs> so let me show you what it can do so first of all well, you select the framework. So if you're using like front end stuff, good to go. Then you can choose if you want to use a formatter. Antfu has a whole blog post on why he still prefers ESLint over something like Prettier. And because ESLint can handle all the formatting rules that Prettier can, he still uses just ESLint. And I agree with it. So I'll, I'll link that blog post in the description. This is the other really cool thing about his CLI is it generates VS Code settings that automatically lint on save and automatically format on save. So I don't have to set all of, all of that up manually. And now it's working. It's working already. So you can see that I get a linter error that says unexpected console statement and all this did was install the antfoo eslint dependency and then set up the config here we're done we're done <laughs> It has too many dependencies, but listen, they're hidden from me because all I see is antfoo's eslint config. But one of the nice things about his config is it has all of these other plugins already enabled and you can enable or disable those rules if you want to. So one thing that I have done, so I created this config, which has all of my preferred rules. So I can actually say that I want a two space tab, I want semicolons and I want double quotes and then just paste this into his config and all of those rules will be enabled. So if I go over here, this is all I need. So, and then the other thing is I can enable all of my my preferred rules. So instead of showing an error for console logs, I want to see a warning. And then also I want to prevent the use of process.env. I want my imports to be sorted using this as the internal pattern. And I want to force all of my files to be in kebab case. But check this out. The moment I save this, it should add semicolons. Yeah. So now we get double quotes, semicolons, and all of my preferred settings. So there we go. It, it was a cheat speed run, but literally I was about to build this. I was like, I am so tired of setting up ESLint from scratch in every single project. I need a place that just has everything and then I can just enable the stuff that I need. And you can see some of the plugins that are auto automatically available, like the Unicorn plugin has a bunch of like built-in rules that you can use for ESLint and also Perfectionist, but Antfu has already done it. Literally just pull from his config and this uses the latest uh, ESLint 9 config version. That's it, that's the speed run, I'm done. Uh, look at this, <laughs> it's, it's automatically linted, automatically formatted. And then the other thing that it added was my VS Code settings here. So what's really nice and what I like enabling in every single project Project is to automatically lint on save and then it doesn't format on save because we're running our linter we're not running our formatter yeah that's it no fair <laughs> Check out Antfu's ESLint config. It's amazing. And then also I'll link his blog post where he talks about why we should still lint and prettier isn't exactly enough. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.